Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Well, it is now time for part four of our predictions for the guns you're going to see at SHOT Show 2019. Uh, these are the new guns, rumors, and news that we see coming up. And all this information that you're going to be hearing here in the next uh, 15 minutes or less is brought to us by our friends over at GunHolstersAndGear.com. They're the ones that publish the article that gives us this information. So we're going to go ahead and move on now to the uh, new rifles and shotguns that have been confirmed that we will in fact see at SHOT Show this year. Doesn't mean they're necessarily going to be on the market, but these are uh, different firearms that we can't expect to see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with part four. And as always, we'll be sure to put the links for this article down in the description box as well as the comment box down below. So uh, here we go, guys. We've got the Remington 870 side folder. So you can definitely tell by its tactical appearance, it's going to have some great features. We're looking at a, <coughs> excuse me, Tapco AK pattern saw grip on there with the right side folding stock. Uh, it's going to come in both 12 and 20 gauge varieties. Uh, we're looking at six shells in the magazine. Um, additional features are going to include a soft cheek piece on the stock, QD attachment points for a sling, a recoil pad and a rem choke compatible muzzle. Uh, you're also going to have some M-Lock attachment points as well as uh, different places where you can mount a light, laser, or camera if you wish to do so. MSRP on this is predicted to be $569. And you can tell how you've got that uh, shockwave inspired uh, strap up there on the front, as well as the positive stop on the handguard. So that is the Remington 870 side folder. Don't worry, fans of the uh, 22 Rimfire Rifles, we're checking out the Thompson Center, uh, now in camo pattern, TCR-22 Rifles. Uh, what's great about these is now you've got the Realtree Edge and Mossy Oak Breakup uh, Country Patterns are going to be out there. Uh, apparently, these have a lot of parts that are compatible with Ruger 10-22s, which are always a good thing. Uh, we're looking at a lifetime limited warranty and MSRP of $419, and it looks like maybe we've got some uh, end caps here at the end of the barrel, possibly indicating that we might have ourselves some threads going on. I'm not sure exactly but hopefully we'll have more information on those rifles here shortly so those are the thompson center arms uh tcr 22 rifles all right, so this one definitely has my attention. We're checking out the Maxim Defense PDX SBR. Apparently, SOCOM was out there looking for some sort of a new SBR rifle, so Maxim stepped up to the plate. And uh, one of the first things you notice about this is a stock that's actually four inches shorter. It basically brings the stock all the way within the buffer tube, which gives the uh, overall package a much more compact design. Um, it's got a 5.5-inch barrel. It does have this little uh, muzzle device on the end, which they call the hate brake. Now, it doesn't exactly suppress the flash or the sound for the uh, the shooter but it does in fact deflect it and push it towards the person or thing that you're shooting at so it actually diverts all the attention away from you while you're firing it uh, giving you a much more pleasant uh, shooting experience um, again very cool build you've got the Picatinny rail all the way across the top looks like we got an ambi charging handle on the top there uh, we're looking at a retail price of two thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars they are available for pre for pre-order on January 21st um, unloaded the guns weigh less than six pounds and the chambering is going to be offered in both 556 NATO and 762 by 39. So there you go. You got an option to pick up both if you want them. And uh, it's also going to be fitted with the ALG combat trigger. Definitely looks like a pretty serious piece of hardware. Now, just a pattern that I've, I've happened to notice, and you might notice this too within the last couple of years, we're really starting to see a lot more of these uh, tactical precision style rifles is what I like to call them. You know, typically we have some sort of a rifle pistol grip on them with a, a detachable box magazine. Um, and Noreen Firearms is now going to be introducing their ELR bolt action rifle, and that stands for um, Extreme Long Range Bolt Action Rifle. Uh, some of the features you can expect on it is the detachable uh, magazine as well as a bolt action. It's going to be chambered in everything from 338 Lapua through 50 BMG. Uh, other features are going to include a 4140 steel receiver, a one-piece fluted bolt, a 34-inch barrel with a Noreen muzzle brake, and a Timney Remington 700 adjustable trigger. Uh, rifles are going to have a maximum overall length of 60 inches. They're going to weigh 31 pounds unloaded, and they're going to come with a five-round magazine. Not sure if that's going to be proprietary. I also can't tell you exactly what the uh, MSRP is going to be on that, but I'm sure it's not going to be cheap, but you are getting one heck of a package for uh, for what you get, and uh, otherwise that's the Noreen Firearms ELR Bolt Action Rifle. 
now the industry is also starting to take more of a notice of those individuals that might be shooting with disabilities and this is what I think is one of the one of the better uh, inventions to come out uh, to be featured at SHOT Show. SHOT Show that we're going to see this year the Iron Horse Firearms TOR or TOR which stands for Thumb Activated uh, Receiver and or Thumb Operated Receiver and essentially it's going to replace your trigger group with a, a lever that's going to be actuated by your thumb so anybody that has any kind of gripping difficulties or might have arthritis uh, issues or or possibly, you know, could have suffered some, some from some sort of wound or combat injury that's unable to use their fingers to pull a trigger, will still have the opportunity to do so. Now, this is going to be available just as a lower receiver by itself, but then they have an update here in the article, and it says that uh, the company's announced two new complete rifles, one in 5.56 NATO and the other one in 300 Blackout. Prices are going to start at 1350 for these. Not sure exactly what just the uh, lower receiver by itself is going to cost, but for anybody that has any kind of combat injuries or just injuries or arthritis in general, General, etc. Hand manipulation, you definitely want to check out the Iron Horse Firearms TOR or TOR. Now, if you're somebody who's looking at getting into the 17 Mach 2 cartridge, why don't you check out the Volkwartzen Firearms uh, Summit Bolt Action Rifle. It's going to have a straight pull action and a carbon fiber barrel. Um, it is going to be uh, threaded on the end of the barrel for a suppressing device if you need so, or a muzzle device. Um, as you can see right here, the rifle's got the black Magpul stock. However, you can get it with either flat dark earth gray or OD green uh, Magpul stocks. There's also going to be a Hoag stock available or a blue laminate TH silhouette stock. Now, prices for this rifle are going to start at $1,000. $135. Very cool, futuristic, uh, tactical looking package. So that is the Volkorts and Summit 17 Mach 2 rifle. All right, and Savage is going to be releasing the Savage 110 High Country Bolt Action Rifle line. Uh, we're looking at some barrel lengths that are going to vary between 22 and 24 inches. Uh, the idea is going to be with some weight reduction, with accuracy still being kept in mind. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, threaded and spiral fluted barrels. The, synth the synthetic stock that's going to come with it will be using the AccuFit system. It's going to allow you to adjust both the uh, length, the pull, and the comb height to fit the shooter. Definitely something to make it a lot more catered towards your needs. Uh, barrel bolt handle and action are going to be PVD coated and the stock is going to be finished in true timber strata camo. Uh, suggested retail price of the rifle is going to be $1,129 regardless of the color that you go with. Your caliber choices as you can see right here are going to vary between 243 Winchester all the way up to uh, 300 WSM. So you've got a lot of different options in between. Uh, okay there you go. So that again is the Savage 110 High Country Rifle. Very cool offering from Savage. Okay, and Savage is now going to be releasing the MSR-10 Precision Rifle, which is going to be designed for both competition as well as accuracy uh, in mind the whole time. Uh, it's going to be called Complete and Ready to Compete. You're going to have yourself a 22.5-inch stainless steel barrel, uh, an 18-inch ARCA handguard, a Magpul PRS stock, and an adjustable gas system. Uh, the two-stage trigger is going to break at 4 pounds. Savage also uses the Tango Down Battle Grip that has an adjustable grip angle, which is very cool. There's going to be three different calibers available for this rifle rifle, anything from 6mm Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, or 6.5 Creedmoor, and uh, 308 Winchester. Okay, the MSRP on that rifle is going to be $24.99. Hard telling what it's going to cost in the store, but uh, looks like you're getting in quite a bit for your money, so that's the Savage MSR 10 Precision Rifle. Another type of firearm that we're definitely starting to see more and more of are these tactical style shotguns or these AR pattern shotguns. Now, a lot of the times you're going to be buying into some sort of a proprietary design that's not going to offer you a lot of flexibility for modifications. Well, the Rock Island VR80 shotgun addresses some of those needs. So we'll just talk about some of the uh, features that you can expect uh, on this particular um, AR pattern or AR style shotgun, right? Uh, you're going to have yourself buffer tube compatibility with most commercial AR stocks. Uh, you're going to be compatible with most of your AR pistol grips. Um, it'll also take uh, most of the existing VR series shotgun magazines, so magazines should not be too difficult to source for it. You're going to be looking at detachable, detachable five-round magazines, and that's also going to include nine and 19-round magazines available in the aftermarket. Um, reversible bolt handle and ambidextrous controls, always a good thing to have. Um, M-lock attachment points, uh, folding sights are going to be included as well as a fluted barrel. We're looking at a MSRP of $699, and you can pick that up over on uh, Davidson's Gallery of Guns. It'll be offered exclusively through Gallery of Guns over at Davidson's until March. So that's the Rock Island VR80 uh, AR pattern or AR, AR style shotgun. 
JP Enterprises is definitely going to offer something cool here with the JT-19 Precision Rifle. Uh, what's cool about this is you're going to have different choices of chamberings from 6mm six, six Creedmoor to 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, 260 Remington and 308 Winchester. Man, the features don't stop on this one. We've got a JP Supermatch 416R cryogenically treated barrel with a black Teflon finish, a JP Compensator uh, machine 7075 T6 billet upper and lower, Hogue pistol grip, adjustable gas system, JP fire control package, and your choice of uh, stock. Uh, such as the Magpul CTR and the Luth AR MBA2. Base price on the JP Enterprises JT19 is going to be $2,999. And uh, it's supposed to be a little bit lighter than most of your precision rifle packages, so we'll see what the actual weight comes in at as soon as it is released. Okay, guys, love it or hate it, but the 6.5 Creedmoor is not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, Henry is now releasing the Long Ranger Lever Action Rifle Chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, it's going to have a free-floated 22-inch blued steel barrel. We're looking at a chrome steel bolt with a six-lug head and a removable four-round bo four box magazine with a beautiful American walnut stock. Uh, suggested retail price on that is $1,066. So if you got the 6.5 Creedmoor sitting around, you might as well go and pick yourself up a lever action. I'm not sure exactly what this is going to do for size. I'm guessing they're going to offer some sort of a weaver mount, or maybe they're going to offer it with iron sights. I'm not sure. But again, that's the Henry Long Ranger and 6.5 Creedmoor. Okay, so we've mentioned the uh, TCR-22 rifles a little bit earlier. This is kind of an interesting collaboration between uh, Smith & Wesson, and they're going to be offering and uh, a customized version of the Thompson Center uh, TCR-22 rifles. Uh, what they're going to have is they're going to offer a lighter trigger pull, a heavy contour barrel with button rifling, a uh, threaded muzzle, and your choice of an Ultimount laminated thumbhole stock, or the Hogue overmolded thumbhole stock. Uh, both of the rifles, again, as we mentioned before, are going to be compatible with Ruger 10 22 Parts, and they're going to come with lifetime warranties. Uh, the Hogue stock version of the gun is going to have an MSRP of $497, and the laminate stock gun is going to have a suggested retail price of $616. So again, an interesting collaboration between Thompson and Smith & Wesson. Okay, so Browning is offering a new um, X-Bolt rifle. They've got the Max Long Range Hunter. So as you can tell by the name, it definitely has to do with uh, shooting out to longer distances. We're looking at a 26-inch fluted and threaded barrel. It's going to have both a uh, brake and thread protector on it. Um, other features are going to include a adjustable composite stock, extended bolt handle, and an optics mounting rail. Again, lots of different calibers offered for this one. We're looking at 6mm Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, 308 Winchester, 300 WSM, 26 Nosler, 7mm Remington Magnum, 28 Nosler, 300 Winchester Mag, and 300 RUM or RUM. So, again, that's the Browning X-Bolt Max Long Range Hunter. Not sure exactly about the MSRP on that, but if you want to reach out there and uh, pick up a gopher or two, this is definitely going to be the way to do so. All right. Okay, so this one looks like something you might find from, say, h &R Firearms or maybe Midland with their backpacker shotgun. This is the American Tactical Nomad shotgun, so this is kind of uh, their take on that uh, single-shot break-action shotgun. We're looking at a 12-gauge and 20-gauge and 410 bore offerings. Uh, you're going to be able to get both 18.5-inch and 26-inch barrel lengths. Now, the guns are made in Turkey. They're going to have an MSRP of $109.95 probably expect those maybe to be more around the $99 range and uh, again it's got the uh, exposed hammer unlike the Midland Backpacker shotgun which has a concealed hammer so it is a little bit different and this is more like those H&R uh, style break action shotguns that we're used to seeing. Okay, so fans of Brown are going to be happy to see the uh, BAR Mark III Hell's Canyon Speed Shotguns coming out. These are very cool looking, uh, uh, not shotguns, I'm sorry, uh, rifles. They're going to be coming out soon. These are the extension on the uh, BAR line. Uh, they're going to feature a burnt bronze Cerakote finish with a composite stock, an inflex recoil pad, and an ATAX AU camo pattern. Uh, they're going to offer a variety of different uh, calibers ranging from 243 Winchester to 300 Winchester Magnum. So again, these are semi-automatic rifles. Uh, and again, they're going to offer a variety of different calibers. Sorry, I didn't mean to say shotgun back there. I was thinking Browning shotgun, meant to say Browning rifle. So that's the Browning PAR Mark III Hell's Canyon Speed Shotgun, or jeez, semi-automatic rifles. 
Okay, and up next we've got the Keltec KS7 shotgun. So if you are familiar with the KSG shotgun, uh, KS7 has a few design cues that are shared along with it. So we're looking at a 12 gauge uh, pump shotgun. Uh, it looks like it's going to be able to hold up to seven uh, two and three quarter inch shells in a single ammunition tube. Uh, the shells are going to eject downward, which is going to make it left hand friendly, so it's going to be ambidextrous. Uh, barrel is going to be a full 18 and a half inches to avoid any kind of NFA issues. But the company keeps the uh, the the shotgun at a very uh, short overall package of just 26.1 inches and it's also going to have a carry handle up on top which is going to conceal the fiber optic sights and uh, also it appears that it's got some M-Lock attachment points on there for it. Pricing is going to be around uh, $495. That's going to be the MSRP and that is the kel KS7 shotgun. Okay guys, so we will try to hammer out one more part of this and cover the rest of the rifles later, but I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe over at Travis P11. We will talk to you guys soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.